improper radical form. Basically what that means is this. Oh, we have exponents that are improper fractions. Or improper, anyway, these fractions. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to rewrite this. What this simply means is this. This 2 is in a sense our base. So we're going to put it inside. The 3 is what we're in a sense the number of times that we got to multiply it by itself to get to that 2. And then what we're, once we have that number, we're going to then take it to the fourth power. So that's how I would rewrite that. That's where these numbers end up going. Ringo. So that was the first one. So now we have the second one. So that means the 6 is going to be the base in the house, in a sense. The 3 is the number that your times are like it's a cube. So it's going to go right there to indicate this being 3. And then once we get that answer, we're going to take it to the fifth power. That's where it would go, and that's what it would look like. Ooh, so let's try another one. Okay, now the seven is going to go inside. Now, technically, I don't have to have the two there because it's a square root, but I kind of put it there just so we could show what it was, so it would end up with a, and then we're going to take that answer to the third power. But that, that would be the better way to write it because it's assumed it's a square root. But there's not a number there anyway. But I just kind of wanted to show where the numbers go and what they mean. Let's look at one more of these. So here we have 9 to the 1 fourth. The base would be 9 inside the, I call the house or the radican. The 4 would be the number, the root power that it would be. And then this one is taken to the first power. So it would just be the fourth root of 9 because we're not really going to multiply that by any other numbers.